Welcome everybody, Dan the Wolfman here at thecombatsystem.com, catchitsu.com. Today I am going to be reviewing for you a couple of crossbreed holsters and the crossbreed gun belt. So guys, uh, I'm wearing them right now. I got the crossbreed, uh, crossbreed gun belt and um, it's really beautiful. Uh, I might have to insert some footage. It's the typical uh, gun belt, but I got double silver stitching. It actually looks like really good for people that care about that kind of thing. And I kind of wanted something that looked a little different than other stuff I have. And to me kind of said, uh, you know, old rock star, or, um, Johnny Cash, something like that. So double silver stitching on the black belt with the black buckle or silver buckle. They have a lot of options. Anyway, it's a pretty thick belt. Good for like uh, single stack, uh, double stack. Maybe most people only carry one gun and one extra magazine. That's going to do it for you. Um, right now I actually have more on than that as usual for me, but, uh, really, really liking the belt and the stitching and the quality. It looks really, really good. It's felt really good. It's been very comfortable, uh, etc. So the gun belt gets a thumbs up for me. Now, uh, talking about holsters, guys, holsters are very dependent on body type. So I'm a weird 5'11", Sylvester Stallone with a belly, dad bod over 40 type. So I'm just kind of moving from hip carry to appendix carry. And so I wanted to try out their appendix rig. So this is their AIW rig. And I fell in love with it right away because it is super lightweight, super, super duper comfortable. So I just, I wore it around the house. I wore it all the time. When usually I had a double stack I would take off and put next to the chair that I chill in, I was just leaving it on. That's how comfortable it's been for me. Um, very easy to wear out. I've really enjoyed it with a, a single stack. I got a mid-size magazine in my single stack right now, uh, and it's it's been great. I mean, it prints a little bit, but not that bad considering uh, my body type. So still a fast draw, and um, I made myself a little cheap uh, wedge for it with some Velcro and um, a bottom of a thick sole I got at a Walmart grocery store. So that's been working out well for me. If you're a skinny guy, you're not going to have to do that. So everything's very body type uh, dependent and figuring out what's good for you. I also have on their Freedom Rig. So surprise, I also got on their Freedom Rig for a double stack here. Um, this one I like, the, the uh, AIWB I'm in love with. This one I like, but behind the back carry really isn't my thing. I wanted to see if I could make it appendix. I can kind of make it appendix, but it rubs a little bit on the inside of the leg, probably if I'm short. If I was taller and skinnier, uh, it would work out really well. You just have to put it offset. If this is 12 and this is one, you got to offset it over, you know, over here to 1110. Um, because of the width of it and where it would go right on your leg crease if you're shorter. If you're taller, skinnier, I think it would work out well for appendix. Um, it works out really good for me. Uh, double stack in the, you know, four o'clock-ish position, even with an extended mag. This is working out really well for me. It's not even for this gun. It's for the subcompact version of this long barreled gun. But I'm glad that both work out well for it. So here it really disappears. If I put the subcompact in with the small magazine, and in fact, my body type, I could still wear it there where it is now, or I can bring it apart uh, across even further to really hide it under kind of my love handle. I'll do that right now. So with the bigger gun, I like it further back with the extended magazine. It's not even meant for that, but it was working out great. Uh, with smaller for more concealment, like if it was a work environment, my body type with a little bit of a belly, a little bit of love handles, um, it's working out really good for me in the 330 position. It's really kind of just disappearing under a little bit of my love handles and girth, and I don't think anyone would notice it. So actually, I think I could get away with this in like a work environment here at the 330 position for the subcompact. It's working out really, really good. And it's pretty comfy there. I'm not a huge fan of having stuff back there in the kidneys and stuff, but here it's pretty hidden and it's pretty comfortable, and I think if that's what I need to do in the work environment, I would get used to it. So this is the Freedom Carry. So again, guys, I'll show you some close-ups of the holsters. I'll take them off now. So guys, here's a look at the Crossbreed Freedom Carry. The difference is where they have the, the clip. 
because they're only singular clip, it depends on kind of where the weight. And with a double stack pistol, the weight's more in the magazine than in the slide. So here they wanted the weight support here. Now it's a little bit wider. You see, I still put Velcro there and I can still kind of make it as an appendix rig, but instead of at 12 or uh, one, I have to put it more like 11. And then it kind of works. The bottom right here is kind of sometimes getting on the ridge of my leg crease. Uh, but again, I'm short and wide. If you were taller and skinnier, I think that it would work out well for you. I don't know for sure. Um, it still kind of works there. I could make it work there, but it's definitely comfortable in the 4430. And here, as you saw, it was really comfortable at like the 330 with a smaller grip. It seems to hide really well and it's giving me uh, a good, pretty quick draw. Um, so I would be comfortable there in like the uh, urban work environment, if you will. Here's the appendix rig AIWB, which I've fallen in love with. So the clips on the other side, because it's more for smaller single stacks and whatnot. So it kind of distributes the weight because you don't have so much of the weight back here on the pistol. This has worked out really, really well. Just really comfortable for me the first day. I didn't have this. I went out, I bought the Velcro. I made my little cheap wedge here. Yeah, with sole, this one's Air Plus. It was a thick construction type thing. I, I just found the thickest one I could get. Um, I wore this on a first date Sunday to a you know very liberal coffee house. I don't think anyone spotted me or made me um, with a mid-sized magnet. Um, I put one round more uh, magazine in it. Usually when I carry, I swap them out when I left and I went about to dinner afterwards um, like that. So this has worked out really uh, good for me. Super, super comfortable. If it's already forming around my body, um, you can get different leather types. Anyway, I I really, really, really like this holster. As far as the other one, if you're newer to carrying, if you think you're maybe like gonna play with the idea of appendix, but you're probably gonna end up behind the hip, I think that's you know if you're a beginner carrier or you think you're gonna carry behind the hip, you like carrying back there. Um, that's going to be comfortable. If you're even bigger than me, again, that kind of 330 position really kind of hides the subcompact of a smaller grip. It kind of really hides it well. So maybe if someone my size were, you know, more overweight, I think it would hide it pretty well and be even a good option for work environment, a non-permissive environment pretty well. So guys, uh, and the belt I really like, it's really good looking. Sorry if I didn't get you a close up, but Really good looking belt, really comfortable. So guys, there's my review of the a couple of the crossbreed holsters. I'm really glad that I tried them out. I hope that kind of helps you differentiate. I wasn't sure between the appendix and the freedom carry, but again, things depend on body type. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. Thank you very much.